Music to live by 24 hours a day from WHFS Stereo 102.3 on your FM dial from Bethesda, Maryland. And now from our smoke-filled studio high above Bethesda, Maryland, Electric Brew. Hi, would you believe that this is Hilton Valentine III with another evening of Electric Brew for you? No? Do you believe in love, peace, and the ultimate climax? Come, oh, come, bend your mind at Until Further Notice, Washington's only boutique for both sexes. Frigid? They'll turn you on with an Afghan shepherd coat, richly embroidered sheepskin on the outside, plush fur on the inside. Complete the look with, oh, herringbone tweed bell bottoms, body shirts with balloon sleeves, and mucho more clothes, all in until further notice, which is at 1432 Wisconsin Avenue, right across from the great metropolitan drugstore in Georgetown. I noticed from the phone action last night that uh, a lot of you were listening to WMOD. Well, that's cool, because Essex is cool, and uh, we don't mind him. As a matter of fact, he's neat, if he, even if he is from L.A. Ray Collins on lead vocals, Frank Zappa, low grumbles, ooh-wah, and lead guitar, Roy Estrada, high weaslings, Dwadi Dupe, and electric bass, and of course, Jimmy Carl Black and our Arthur Dyer Trip III with lewd pulsating rhythm. Who else could it be but Reuben and the Jets, actually the mothers of invention, recording under a different name to get their cruddy music on the radio. Jelly Roll Gumdrop. Radio Free Washington, WHFS, 102.3 FM in Bethesda, Maryland. Busted. It's called Don't Step on the Grass, Sam, by Steppenwolf, on their new album, Steppenwolf the Second. Let's see, it's commercial time. Excalibur, the revolutionary book in fine European tailoring. Bell bottoms, jeans and cords and leathers, velvets and tapestries. Contemporary boots and shoes. Driving coats and jackets and sexy Spanish suede. 1400 Wisconsin Avenue Northwest. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 through 8. I await you at Excalibur. Excalibur, Wisconsin and O in Georgetown. Open late. Let's see. Empire Music. 7815 Old Georgetown Road in Bethesda is Bethesda's hip culture headquarters and uh, if you frequent the friendly freaks down there they'll turn you on to their huge stash of plastic product including all the latest LPs everything we play here and a lot that we don't have yet which is pretty absurd anyway that uh, tricky hippie Jim Seward owns the whole operation and uh, I can't recommend it highly enough are and the heads are at Empire Music. The friendly freaks at Empire invite you to come in and get hung up in their infinite selection of underground recordings. The lovable long hairs behind the counter will welcome you to Bethesda's leading center of hip culture. Empire Music, 7815 Old Georgetown Road, open till 930 nightly. Wow, this has been quite a night. We've really been busy with all these tapes. We've been playing pieces of uh, Marshall McLuhan's record and pieces of the How to Speak Hip album. Coming up in a moment, we're going to have Going Up to Country by Canned Heat and then the original Henry Thomas version of the same song, which uh, Henry Thomas called Bulldoze Blues. Excalibur. 
the revolutionary look in fine men's clothing to precisely project your lifestyle through all personal confrontations at your desk, discotheque, or demonstration. Bold bell bottoms, Spanish leather, English boots. Image, modern mythical archetype. Here now at Excalibur. Open late at Wisconsin and O in Georgetown. Excalibur. We've been on the air a week and a day today. And I've been back on the air exactly a week as of today. And uh, I think it's safe to say that the quality of the show has doubled in that week. And I think it's going to keep doubling. You know, I was in San Francisco in Big Sur, Eslin, Sausalito, doing that trip from late August until about the end of the first week in November. And when I found out we were going back on the radio, I called up some friends out there, and uh, they're getting us some very special tapes, which haven't gotten here yet, but are coming. But when I get those, I think that uh, those alone will double the quality of the show again. It's groovy. Good night, sweetheart. It's time to go now. Arrivederci. Tally ho. Au revoir. Adio. Wow, I'm late. You've been so wonderful. Sorry about that Dylan cut. Tune in tomorrow night when Freaky Frank will drop and jock from 9.30 to midnight. My show. This is WHFS 102.3 FM in Bethesda, Maryland. Till tomorrow, Radio Free Washington. It's midnight in the nation's capital. These are the sounds of nightlight. This is Abby, your Nightlight hostess, welcoming you to Nightlight. Right now, we're going to hear from Frank Pastor in Sportscope. It's 12 midnight, and welcome to Sportscope, heard each weekday evening at 12 midnight over WHFS Stereo in Bethesda, Maryland. And now, here's Frank Pastor to tell you all about the soon-to-be world champion Baltimore Colts, who have just completed the best NFL record season since the 1942 Chicago Bears were undefeated. Tell them all about the Colts, Frank. Well, welcome to Sportscope. Frank Pastor here. Happy midnight. The Baltimore Colts play in a town approximately 35 to 40 miles north of Washington. And now, on to other sports news. And I'm serious. I will have something about the Colts in a second. The Pittsburgh Steelers sharpened up the Christmas axe, and they used it today on Bill Austin, their head coach for the last three years. Austin finished a three-year contract yesterday with a 24-14 loss to the New Orleans Saints and a dismal 2-11 and one record. The Steelers finished last in the Century Division of the NFL for the second straight year. In his rookie season as a pro coach, Austin looked a lot better. He took the team, which had only won two games in 65, to a 5-8-1 record and sixth place in the eight-team Eastern Conference of 66. But overall, Austin was 11-28-3. And there's a strong rumor out that Bill McPeak, the ex-coach of the Washington Redskins, who has been the coach of the Detroit Lions offense for the last two years, may get the nod as head coach of the Steelers. McPeak, as you know, played a great defensive end position for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And when he was with Washington, you know, you remember him as not being a good coach, but he brought off some great trades. If you remember Sonny Jurgensen, uh, Sam Huff, Johnny Sample, Bob Pellegrini, John Rieger, Preston Carpenter. Uh, he picked... Uh, Charlie Taylor, 
Jerry Smith, Pat Richter, Jim Snow. The Movement Caravan presents in concert Buffy St. Marie, and The Fallen Angels, The New Lost City Ramblers, The Charles River Valley Boys, The Puzzle, and many other tasty attractions. Saturday, March 15th, at Georgetown University's McDonough Arena. Tickets only three and four dollars at Sears, AAA, Soul Shack, Empire Music, Georgetown Graphics, and the Common Reader Bookshop. Buy a ticket for freedom from the Movement Caravan. And he knows he always will kill you for me, my friend, and me for you. But there's another way to sell a concert. Sunday, March 16th, park yourself in your mind garage, the Baltimore Civic Center. Canned heat will burn up the oxygen, putting out the heavy hard blues that have built them the West Coast's heavy, biggest heavy, following. Heavy. Jeff Beck, the legendary guitarist who put the Yardbirds on the map, will appear to tell the truth as only he knows how. B.B. King and his talking guitar, Lucille, will do a show within a show. All the beautiful people will be there. It's definitely together. Sunday, March 16th, Baltimore Civic Center. Canned Heat, Jeff Beck, B.B. King, and King Solomon's Mines. And to enhance this great underground presentation, an advanced heavy-duty sound system and professional light show are being installed. Premier Attractions cares about what happens to head music in Baltimore, Washington. When bigger names come to the Baltimore Civic Center, Premier Attractions will bring them to you. Canned Heat, Jeff Beck, B.B. King, King Solomon's Mines, Baltimore Civic Center, Sunday, March 16. Tickets on sale now in the Civic Center lobby. For mail orders, send 4 5 or $6 per person to Jermack Ticket Agency, Civic Center, Baltimore, Maryland. I read this incredibly groovy news item about a radio station down uh, in Mexico. It's competing with uh, Wolfman Jack, except it operates out of a 1947 Chevrolet somewhere in the mountains of Mexico. And yeah, well, the guy's got a record rig and a transmitter and the whole bit and drives it around from place to place so the Federales won't find him. And it's, uh, it's beamed into LA. And it's sort of hard to pick up because it, it appears at various, like, you know, different spots on the dial all the time. And uh, it's called uh, uh, the Junkies and Juicers Losers Hour, <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm I'm sure he's quite a cat. I, I mean, you know, anybody who's like driving a '47 Chevy around Mexico and uh, and producing an FM show out of the back seat has got to have something going <laughs> for them. Restrain yourself, Crazy Carol. Crazy Carol has dropped by the station to make my evening even more miserable than it would normally be. And <laughs> thanks a lot. Gee, they're all crowding in around here. The Joint Possession. Purveyors of spiritual supplies to the hip community in College Park, Maryland. Pipes, papers, incense, underground newspapers from the big cities, and Merkins, too. What's a Merkin, All at College Park's only head shop. The Joint Possession, a definite bust at 7401 Baltimore Avenue in College Park. Open 12 till 9. In the spring, a young man's fancy turns to motorcycles. And the people to turn to when you're turned on to bikes are at Cycle City. Cycle City specializes in new and used Yamahas and BMWs. See the amazing new Yamaha 350. And new BMWs in red, white and dark blue, white, green, and good old basic black. That's Cycle City, 4737 Silver Hill Road in Suitland. Or call 736-6800 for information. Call tomorrow, 736-6800. Yeah, call up Cycle City because they have some very groovy buys in used motorcycles, and they also do excellent, uh, excellent uh, uh, something. Oh, repair work, yes, and on BMWs and Yamahas and lots of other makes. Cycle City, our newest and uh, most recent sponsor, and I hope you will pay them the attention they deserve for being such fine folks and giving us money. 
And this is the much requested Led Zeppelin. That's the Bonzo Dog Doodah Band from their hit underground LP, Gorilla. Uh, actually, it's not a hit. I mean, I bet you knew that. Uh, actually, nobody cares about it except me, and I like it. But I don't think anybody else... Oh, they like it, too. Yay. Yeah. The rest of the people that work here like it, too. However, I have a sneaking suspicion that you don't like it. And if that's the case, call us up at 656-0600 and tell us why not. And whoever tells us why they don't like it best in 25 words or less gets a free copy of the new Paul Revere and the Raiders album. Yeah, that's Saturday the 15th. That's really approaching quickly. That's uh, next Saturday. And I shall be there to MC the, uh, the show. And I hope you'll be there to, uh, to see it. And this is... That was the Churls, incidentally, a Canadian group that has just released a record that, uh, according to usually reliable sources, is probably going to be a big one. The Churls. And this is Chicken Shack. You're in tune with WHFS Stereo in Bethesda, Maryland. The home of Underground Radio in Washington, D.C. WHFS is freeform radio. Well, that's another phrase I got into about two weeks ago, you know. And, uh, pretty soon, man, I hear this, this cat talking about how, uh, hi there, welcome to the blah, blah, freeform rock and roll show, yes. Well, you know, I, I, well, I really shouldn't let, me, let it get me down, but it's just, you know, after, ah, this is uh, Ars Nova, and this is Freeform Radio. You see, the world has a structure that no formulation can encompass. Conceive of the world as your own total experience, and play with your own symbolic constructs in a spirit of easy detachment. Marshall McLuhan.
The dominant organ... The dominant organ of sensory and social orientation in pre-alphabet societies was the ear. Hearing was believed. The phonetic alphabet forced the magic world of the ear to yield to the neutral world of the eye. Man was given an eye for an ear. Right. They told me to continue what I was doing and to spread joy and revolution. <coughs> Radio Free Washington, WHFS, FM 102.3, in Bethesda. <coughs> 